Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Just before we get into today's video, I would just like to remind you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Scottish football content. And without any further ado, let's get into today's video. It's been just over four months now since Steven Gerrard left Rangers for Aston Villa and a lot of talk around the time of Gerrard's departure was who he was going to sign for his new club from Rangers. Well, the answer to that during the January transfer window was no one. However, four months later, he may just be closing in on his first signing from his former club. Today, reports suggest that Rangers youngster Rory Wilson appears set to leave the club of Aston Villa, the team tipped to win the race for his signature. The striker, who is turned out in the B team representing the Jers in the Lowland League and in the UEFA Youth League this season, is wanted by a host of English clubs. Manchester United, Manchester City, Newcastle and Leeds United were also said to be interested in the 16-year-old who has scored 40 goals at youth level. A host of scouts attended the Scotland under-17s match against Germany last week following an on-form heroic double against the Czech Republic. And now reports are suggesting that Aston Villa are close to securing a move. Wilson has been offered a professional deal at Ibrox, but it looks like the club will lose one of their brightest prospects to the lure of the Premier League with former manager Steven Gerrard looking like the man that will take him across the border. Rangers will be due compensation fee if he does leave, said to be around £300,000. Steven Gerrard has made it clear that he wants to develop Villa's up-and-coming talents to be a part of his first team setup. He said, We want to engage with the academy. There's fantastic work going on there with fantastic people. We don't want to interfere or control the academy, certainly from under-18s down. But we've made it nice and clear that in terms of the second team, the B team, or the under-23s, or whatever you want to call it, it is important whenever players are coming to train or are called up to play a part of the squad, that they know everything about us and the way we play and what's expected of them. These relationships have started and will evolve and will be strong. It's important that everyone is in line and aligned from top to bottom. So yes, I'm really looking forward to more talent coming through and developing more players. Personally, as a huge fan of the Scottish game, I do find it frustrating that a lot of our young players are getting hoovered up for pennies and taken down south before gracing our division and I do hope this can be stopped over time. Rangers fans, what are your thoughts on this news and do you believe there is a better path to the first team within Scotland or England? Let me know down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's short update video guys. Please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Scottish football content and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Peace.